As its name suggests, the World Dairy Expo brings in people from all across the globe, but there is, of course, a large local presence. NBC 15 Zach Nugent introduces us to a local family who used this year's expo as motivation to rebuild after a devastating barn fire. We prepare for World Dairy Expo year-round. But for Jessica and Nick Sarbacher, those preparations came to a halt in February when their barn in Whitewater caught fire. We lost everything we had for a show. Um, we didn't even have a bucket to take. We didn't have a tub to feed the cattle with. But they did have their animals. When the barn is burning down and you have animals in there that you care for, you don't even think about it. You just run in the building that's on fire and, and push them out one by one. Which is exactly what the Starbuckers did. This is Dorothy. Dorothy is a heifer that um, we bred, so she's out of a, a cow that we owned. Um, so we're proud that we bred her. And she actually was the last heifer that, to get out of the barn. As you can see, despite losing so much, the Starbuckers are here showing at this year's expo. But we gave us a goal. We knew we wanted to be back here, and we knew we didn't want to miss this show. We knew that we wanted to be here. We were happy that we saved the animals that were in the barn that burned down. Um, but we knew we would be back at World Dairy Expo because we, we've shown here for the many years in the past, and, and we haven't missed one since I was a young, young child. And no matter the struggle, they don't plan to miss any in the future. In Madison, Zach Nugent, NBC 15 News. Although they were able to make it to the World Area Expo, the Sarbachers say they still have a little bit of work to do before all of their rebuilding at home there is complete. However, they say everything should be done and ready for the calves they're expecting this winter.